is me again, Rowan Huang. I want to talk about white light. I want to talk about white zone, but I cannot talk about white light without talking about gray zone because it's it's only reasonable. That's that's how it works. So anyway, um, hopefully I can quickly touch the topic uh, before I get into the next topic. So before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I want to talk about the gray zone after death. I mean, you heard a lot of people talk about white light. You talk about heaven. You talk about, you know, I don't know, God, angel, whatever, <laughs> whatever religion you are. You know, a lot of people talk about death and heaven, death and white light, death and something. But here, I want to talk about somewhere in between, which is gonna be a big area, really huge area if you are dead, right? It's called gray zone. It really does depends on um, how evolved you are. If you you are always on top of yourself and then you learn things quick, really quickly, you don't accumulate a lot of um, guilt, shame, or whatever feeling within yourself. The chances you probably don't even notice a gray zone, really. But the, unfortunately, most of us do. Most of us live with guilt, shame, or you know, we're doing things that we know we shouldn't, but we're still doing anyway. You know, all those things we told ourselves to put away, even though we know it's wrong. Those are the thing that is going to prolong the time that you stay in the gray zone. So we all know if you follow my blog long enough, 285, <laughs> you must know. When we die, there's so many different level of spirits. spirits. Everybody could have gone through various spirits. So I'm not here to categorize it. No, you are lower spirit, you are higher spirit. No. If you understand where I come from, you understand individual soul can go through various stages of you know, vibration. Therefore, I would categorize you very differently. Depends on how you present yourself, right? So you will understand as human. Once we die, we become ghosts. Very simple thing. Once we die, we become ghosts. Why are we called ghosts? The reason we are called ghosts because we cannot let go of our identity before our death. We might still worry about our family member. We might still worry about this. We've got things we couldn't let go. We got things we couldn't work into. We are ghosts. Understand the moment you die, you are a ghost. The chances you will be living in the gray zone. You will living in the gray zone until you evolve, until you let it go, until you let go of, you know what? I'm dead. I no longer have to hang on to this identity, this, you know, this, this things I create for myself. I can move on. I can move on to the next tech. Th this is only when you will see the white light or a lot of psychic who work with ghosts for a long time, like me, they probably refer you white light is coming, white light is coming. Why? You have to have some kind of mental breakthrough. You have to have some kind of mental breakdown for you to let go. So you will understand before, after you die, till you get into white light, you are in the gray zone. Gray zone is a very funny place. That's really, that's all I can tell you. If you ask me, I can refer it as hell too. It could be hell if you, if you done a lot of wrong thing, <laughs> you know you shouldn't. Because gray zone have ability or have some kind of energy or vibration that's able to reflect, reflect what you truly feel, reflect your emotion, you know what I mean? So if you feel guilty, it then reflect that guilt upon you. Or if you feel you're doing something shame, that would be either magnified or it can reflect to you. So it's not often I see people skip the gray zone and go to the white light. I do see people go it very quickly. Most likely they live a very you know open life. They have nothing to hide. They have not do, done anything wrong to anybody. They have always lived very true to themselves. Then yes, I do see people you know right away, boom, don't even have to spend time. But most of us who couldn't let go of our identity, I know I couldn't let go, I couldn't let go why people doesn't love me, why, why people always do this to me and things like that. Those energy is going to be reflecting and also magnify to whatever degree that you suppress it within yourself in the gray zone. And then the reason of that is you do have to 
reflect your life. You do have to work it. You have to understand. You have to come up with epiphany. You have to come up with you know, a breakthrough, right? For you to be able to see the white light. So anyway, I just thought before I talk about white light, I better talk about gray zone because it's not all boom, you know, die heaven. It doesn't really quite work that way. There's a lot of there's a lot of things you kind of have to deal with. You know, understand in gray zone, whatever you hide within yourself, whatever guilt, shame, let me just break it down very quickly to you. If you know something is wrong, you shouldn't do it, but you still do it, the chances those are the things you will have to deal with when you are in the gray zone, right? So this is the area, it's a process of death, you know, it's not a good thing, but you know, it's all good after this. Once you work it through, it's all good. Where are our spirit guide? after our death oh your spirit guys there trust me it's there <laughs> but you're just not able to connect with them you are not able to connect with them when you are still have some emotion or mind tying to your previous identity remember at this point your logic is still taking a lot of space so you are not really connect with them usually if you can work through work it through you can see they are right there they never really leave you so um they will meet you and agree with you, yeah, if you were most of the issue. <laughs> Trust me, I know it sounds like cliche, but it's just based on the experience I work with a lot of ghosts. I mean, I would say, I mean, from them, from me, if you can work your issue right now when you are alive, do it. Seriously, this is the best time. You have a tool, you have a sensation, you have a skill, deal with it. If you don't know the solution, look around. Trust me, they are somewhere around you. You just need to dip dig them out and figure out where they are work it when you are alive and um, when you are dead it is a little bit harder it is a bit harder it is from a lot of spirits i talk to they wish they can do it when they're still alive so i'm simply just translate their language to you and i'm saying from you know the experience i i have deal with for a long time there is gray zone everybody go through everybody <laughs> Even though the moment people see, I see the white light, you know, before they die, they tell you, I see the white light. Oh, white light is there. Trust me. You're going to get there one way or the other. Sooner or later, you will get there. But I'm just here to tell you, going through that gray zone, gray zone is an area that reflect whatever's within yourself. It could be hell for someone. It could be. So, you know, it, it depends on your perception of hell. It could seriously reflect that scenario to you as well this is what i call it's a one big gray area <laughs> huge gray area that got no time no limit to it so you know my advice to that if you don't want to be in this zone you don't want to be in this area learn to let go of things learn to learn your epiphany or learn your breakthrough as much as you can while you are living then you will realize the time for you to actually be in this area is way less way shorter than anyone else you could make that transition much faster from your death to white life so much quicker you know what i mean so anyway i'm um, just a little bit personal opinion from a psychic point of view so for you guys to think of it in a different perspective, I guess. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website at ruwen.com. Till then, next time. Bye.